Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Today is the first day of September, the year 2018. Our topic for today is the all-sufficient God. And our passage for meditation is 2 Kings chapter 4. Verse 38 to 44. Second Kings chapter 4, from verse 38. Elisha now returned to Gilgal, and there was famine in the land. One day, as the ground, as a group of prophets was seated before him. He said to his servant, Put a large pot on the fire and make some stew for the rest of the group. One of the young men went out into the field to gather herbs and came back with a pocket full of wild guards. He shredded them and put them into the pot without realizing they were poisonous. Some of the stew was served to the men, but after they had eaten a bit, a bite or two, they cried out, Man of God, there's poison in this stew. So they will not eat again. Elisha said, Bring me some flour. Then he threw it into the pot and said, Now it's all right. Go ahead and eat. And then it did not harm them. One day, a man from Baal Shaliza brought the man of God a sack of fresh grain and 20 loaves of barley bread made from the first grain of his harvest. Elisha said, Give it to the people so they can eat. What? The servant exclaimed. Feed a hundred people with only this? But Elisha repeated, Give it to the people so they can eat. For this is what the Lord says. Everyone will eat and there will even be some leftovers. And when they gave it to the people. There was plenty for all and some left over, just as the Lord had promised. The all sufficient God. From our passage today, there was famine in the land of Gilgal. Just as we have difficulties in our country, Nigeria, there was famine in Gilgal. In the midst of this challenging situation, Elisha, the servant of the Almighty God, came into the scene and turned around the situation with his presence. There was a bleak situation in the land. Elisha provided for his people, the sons of the prophet. He 
gave them food to eat. But we see from our passage that the enemy wanted to turn that provision to disaster. We are told that as they prepared the food for the household, the band of prophets, there was an error somewhere and the food was poisoned. And when they began to eat, there was commotion and problem. But with the quick intervention of the servant of God, the situation was reversed. Once again, we see again from that same passage that the servant of God who received the gift of bread was moved to give that provision of bread and grain to the band of the prophets. The servant who received the gifts, when the Elisha said that those gifts should be distributed among the people, demonstrated lack of faith that it will not be enough. We are so many. The provision will not go around. What is this compared with our number? Elisha maintained his word and said, let the provision be share, share, distributed. Share it to everyone. Then it will go around and we will even have leftover. That was a strong demonstration of faith, strong demonstration of confidence that with God all things are possible. He turned his faith in the all sufficient God. For the Lord himself is the source of all things. Though little compared to the number of those that will benefit from it, the all-sufficient God manifested his power again in their midst. The little bread and grain became more than enough. The little bread and the grain became more than enough for the people in that story. Today, we are faced with very difficult situations in our country. We may be faced with very difficult situation in your family. We may be faced with different situations in our places of work. Maybe hardship. Maybe things are tough. Maybe the income in the family is going down. The God we serve is all sufficient. He is able to do all things, for He is the source of all good things. For our God, the God of heaven, is the supplier who is rich in all things. The hardship in our land today might not be as severe as the one that we read about in Gilgal. But if God was able to provide for his people at that time, we are still serving the same God. He never fails. He never changes. He is rich in all things and he is rich towards you. He is able to meet you at the very point of your need. Look up to him in times like this. Look up to him for supply and provision for your home, for your family, for your household and for even our nation. Our help comes from the Lord. 
it never fails. Today is the first of September, the beginning of a new month. Many people are afraid when we approach the ember months. They say ember months are always loaded with difficulties, loaded with challenges, bewitchment, hardship, death, trouble. But your lot is not in this. Today, let me assure you that the God of heaven, the God whom we serve, who brought you this far is able to care for you is able to supply your needs is able to fight your battles is able to provide for your family for your household and for all those around you who depend on you those who depended on elisha were not let down in spite of the difficulties around them in spite of the difficulties in the land the God they trusted did not fail them. I declare to you on this first day of September that you will not be a victim of shame. You will not be a victim of sorrow. Lack will never be your portion. The God of heaven will meet you at the very point of your need. As you step out into this brand new month. We pray that God will visit you. You may have challenges. The Lord will meet you at the point of your need. And your joy shall rejuvenate again. You will say of a truth, in spite of the situation around, the God of heaven is with me. May this month bring about the glory of the Almighty God. May every step you take in line with the will and perfect word of God be, be met with testimonies with the blessings of God. We proclaim His goodness upon your life and upon your family, upon your children, upon the works of your hand. Your, your steps will be ordered by the Lord and testimonies will come from you on a daily basis. In this brand new. May the month, the months of the beginning from this September, these ember months never be months of sorrow for you. Rather, may the Lord Almighty uphold you with his mighty hand and keep you. May the light of the Lord shine upon your way. May his wisdom instruct you. And may his power uphold you on a daily basis. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this brand new day, brand new month, the beginning of the ember months. Thank you for sparing our life. Thank you for your precious promises. Thank you for your word, which you have just espoused this morning. We pray that as we go into this new month, may your glory shine upon us. May your glory shine upon our way. May your wisdom instruct us on a daily basis. May your power uphold us. May disaster never be our lot in this month. May sorrow never be our lot in this month. As we go forth into this new month, we ask, Lord, that you will lead us on the way. Our testimonies will be our portion on a daily basis. Thank you, Father. We pray for every situation in any home, bringing about sorrow, bringing about doubt, bringing about fear. Some don't know what to do. Some don't even know what to eat in the next day. Heavenly Father, supply the needs of your people. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain.
If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.